How to add end screen on YouTube videos is the topic of today's video. If you're new to the True Tool Tucker channel, thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Please do consider subscribing for more awesome tutorials just like this pretty much every day at the minute. And please go and leave a like down below. So today I'm showing you how to go and add end screen. It's a super, super simple process and it can increase your views by a lot. And it also just adds a bit more like professionalism to the whole video in my opinion. So yeah, I hope you find it enjoyable and useful and let's jump straight into this video. Okay, so as you can see I'm now on the computer um, so you will need a computer device for this or well, this is the tutorial um, or you can go and use the online browser version on your YouTube so if you're on a mobile device or like a tablet I'm anyway let's get straight into this so once you're here as you said this is my channel I'm doing this on the second channel just to make it a bit easier so you want to come to your icon up here click it and what we'll do is click on YouTube studio and then it's going to take you to your YouTube dashboard now there will be two ways we'll be showing you to doing this tutorial Essentially, the first one is doing it to videos already published and even a faster way once you're sort of uploading videos at the same time. So I'll do that um, after I've gone through this. So come to your videos and currently I've got one video here. So let's go and click on it just here. And now this will look a bit different down here. As you can see, I've got these extra boxes and it tells you tags. This is an insane software called TrueBuddy. So I use this tag new, for example. So if I double click on new, it's going to load us some information about this keyword. I thought I'd really show this pretty interesting. As you can see, this is estimated to get 15 million searches a month, but it's pretty hard to rank for, as you can see, nine out of 100 to rank for. But yeah, that's just why it looks a bit different. So what you want to hear, what you want to do is come down to editor. So then once you click on editor, this screen will load. It's sort of like a bit of information about your video. And then you're brought to this screen here. And as you can see, you've got all these different things here. You've got an audio to add music. You can go and add end screens. It's obviously what we want. And you can go and blur. So what you want to do to add the end screen is come down here and click the plus and it gives you this list so you can literally go and add them individually so you click video say and it will take you to the last 20 seconds of course and as you can see it says here you can apply your most recent upload to that your best for viewer or you can choose a specific time and you can drag around where you want it to appear so mine might be here maybe we can go and add, choose it to be here it has to be in this white box here and we can say have the most recent upload there and add another element so element plus you click there and you can go and click on subscribe and then that's going to bring up your icon here. That's my channel logo at the minute. Um, but you can also add other channels as well. And you can go and add links um, to a website. But you need to be in the YouTube Partner Program. But the, one of the best part is if you just come down here and click plus, you can actually go and apply a template if you haven't already got to them here. So if I delete all these, so to delete them, you click on it and you press the delete key. And it will delete them. And if you want to go and add an element, um, a template element, as you can see, it gives you here. Uh, so you can have a video, a playlist, and a, a subscribe. And you click that and it apply them all. So yeah, that's the tutorial. If you want to go and do it while you're uploading a video. And then once you select all this information here, you click save. And then that will be applied to the last 20 seconds of your video. But if you want to go and add this to before you've sort of made the video and you're, while you're uploading it, you click here. So we'll just click OK and we'll go and upload a brand new video. So we click create, upload videos. So the second way is doing it while we're uploading the video. It's a bit faster and more efficient. Um, obviously, if you've got old videos, you need to do it this way. So let's go and upload this video, upload videos and go and select the video. So as you can see, we're now uploading the video. Make sure you make your selection if it's for kids or not. This is not. So then come to video elements. And as you can see, all you've got to do is go and click add. But you've got to wait till this video for process to go and do it. And you can add cards as well. But yeah, that's how you do it. It's a lot faster than having to do it once you've uploaded the video. But if you've already got an older video, then it's a lot easier to do it this way. So I hope you have found this video useful. If you have, please go do and subscribe down below. I really do appreciate it. And have an awesome day. Peace out.